Hello lovelies and welcome back to Complicatedly Simple. I disappeared and I come back today to make a short video hopefully. I will tell you why I disappeared in a bit but for people who are watching me the first time. Hello my name is Sumera and I make videos about food, going out and about and uh, about health, hair care and wanted to start on skincare and other stuff but I fell off track which I'll let you know in about in a bit so welcome to my channel please consider subscribing so what happened usually people who are really close to me do know that I suffer from mental health illness uh, I have complex mental health illnesses or problem or issues however you want to say it uh, i have been under a secondary care for quite some time minimum seven years and i have been on and off medication since then and on and off therapy because we've been moving around a lot so like and i have been changing a lot of psychiatrists and because sometimes people doctors just leave for some reason anyways so uh, I have complex mental health issues and um, I had my diagnosis, um, it's, uh, I, I had my diagnosis like uh, I went through a long assessment thing and they finally made a few diagnoses. They did say, they always said it's complex and any mental health issue will come in a package depression anxiety ocd etc etc it always comes in a package and symptoms are actually quite similar to each other anyway i'm not gonna go too much into details i'm not a doctor so i do suffer from multiple uh, mental health illnesses and they have been diagnosed by professional psychiatrists doctors so um i was um I had changed many medication so I'm gonna give you a small tell you a small story so what happened I some I was lucky I found the medication that worked for me after trying so many medication I went on antidepressant and antipsychotic with that I was I have for years I have been on um, medication other medication uh, food supplements like iron vitamin d multivitamin etc etc and i go for my b12 shot every six weeks uh, because i have uh, deficiencies for some reason so uh what happened two years ago um actually three four years ago i was on medication and but i st uh, that would work for me but i started having some side effects so the doctor gave me um uh, I, I ran doctor and I was like well this is what's happening so first he said like uh stop taking antidepressant just taking psychotic I listened to him he was a really good doctor no doubt on that uh he was the one who prescribed me the medication and these are the medication that normal GP normal clinician or normal doctor general practitioner can't prescribe you need a psychiatrist to prescribe this medication so he prescribed me that i was happy fine like there was clarity i was i started to feel better over the moon everything was fine but i started having side effects then he told me come off the antidepressant i stopped taking antidepressant no change but fine uh, but then it, he realized that it's uh, the, the uh, side effect is from um, the other side effect uh, was from the antipsychotic and then he suggested i can take another tablet alongside it to um my alarm's gone off to sort of help with uh, any side effect etc etc so i decided not to go for another medication because i was already on so many medication and i didn't want to add to that so i said look if there's another medication that is it goes good as the one i'm on so i rather go for that and i don't want to have another medication so anyway, so these medication wouldn't work. Then the, the doctor left and I moved out. At that point, I started my DVT, but then we moved out of the area. So then your GP change and you go through the same thing again. You go back on the list, but because you're already on the list, so it's not that long. Like it doesn't take two years or a year. It takes a few months. 
I kept taking my medication and uh, yeah and it wasn't working and then I called and asked for a medication review and I wanted to go back on the medication that started that that was actually working for me so this new doctor and he was like that's fine uh, he wanted to reassess me and he was like yeah these diagnoses are right you have multiple issues multiple mental illness, health illness complex multiple complex complex mental health issues basically so yeah that's what happened and uh, then I get a call for my appointment and uh, it turns out the doctor had to go and there was this other doctor who talked to me for a very long time and he were so dismissive of what I wanted to say and what I was going through anyway but then I thought well he's a doctor he knows best he wouldn't really listen to me like other doctors it's very difficult to find a good doctor to be really honest um there have been some few good doctors that I have um Anyways, I'm not going to go too much into this, that detail. So, he puts me on this medication. He said, look, focus on your OCD. If you get this thing sorted, things will start to get better for you, this and that. I said, well, that's fine. You're the doctor. You know better. And then I was already starting my DBT, Dialectic Behavioral Therapy. So, I was like, that's fine with this and uh, therapy included. There is potential. So, I went to the medication he prescribed knowing and telling him that I have been on that antidepressant, specific antidepressant and it didn't work for me in the past this is why the doctors had to change my medication because it wouldn't work for me so he said no 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 uh, try that then he upped my dosage up after a, a few times because they have to like keep readjusting your medication it happened to me I don't know about others so I said that's fine and for two years more or less I was on this medication I knew it wasn't working but I thought you know probably because I'm we bought a house we moved out there was a lot of stress going on many triggers and uh, so yeah um, we did have a lot of problem financial problem etc etc uh, so I thought probably because I'm under stress this is why it, it, these things are triggering me or sometime I would blame my pms i'm being moody maybe or i'm too tired i'm overwhelmed to the point where i gave up on everything my depression got worse my ocd got worse basically everything that was wrong with me got worse um so what i did wrong was uh while this is happening i was uh I was still under secondary care, I was still under observation, I did have a lot of help. Uh, I would go, I would talk to my GP and uh, when I came here I was contacted by a mental health institution, doctors, blah blah blah, and they kept in touch, I would get calls, they would check on me, they, right up to the point they made sure that I'm on my medication and I'm safe etc etc. And um, my therapy was about to start so they put me on anxiety management after assessing they thought like if i go through some session and how to it might help with my managing my anxiety and then it was prescription review but as my condition was getting worse i stopped taking all my medication including my multivitamins and minerals so that made me worse i even didn't go for my i think i missed two uh, b12 injections it made my situation worse because i was going through a lot and when you don't have like physical strength to do anything anyway you can't move i didn't move i didn't do anything so everything got worse and of course i became deficient that took a toll on my health and uh, yeah so anyway so luckily i was uh, um there was this appointment made for my mental health review and will review that we uh, i usually have i used to have it like every six months three months six months and now every year so i spoke to this advanced practitioner or psychiatric nurse i can't remember exactly now but she was really really nice she gave me at least 45 to 50 minutes and she just listened to me and she put me on priority list and she did an urgent referral and then then i i was uh, contacted by secondary care i.e a secondary care they were like you're already under our care so don't worry about that and that so it speeded up the process for me 
So instead of me waiting for a, a bit longer after my therapy session, I had appointments with this psychiatrist and she was amazing. She listened to me and she gave me sort of urgent appointment and when she uh, she started talking to me she realized the diagnosis that were made in past are correct and i do have multiple complex mental health illness and it also it affects my health my physical health i'm going to talk about it in another video if you want to know and if you are someone who suffers from mental health issue and if you have similar symptoms or some similar experience as me please comment down below we can talk about it anyway so um yeah i then she listened to me she puts me um she no then she gave me another appointment in it took like two two and a half weeks it was another urgent appointment then she sort of gave me that di uh, diagnosis and she talked to me really nicely she explained it to me how these feelings where they are coming from how these like what illness is affecting me in what way etc etc she explained it to me and i sort of have a little bit more clearer idea if i'm feeling certain way where is it coming from or i why am i feeling that way anyway she did sort of told me i shouldn't have just gone cold turkey because as i was going through a lot already i had to go through the withdrawal syndromes uh whatever you call it um so i had to deal with withdrawal and other issues that come with it so anyways i am back on my medication i have been prescribed the antidepressant that would work for me hence i'm making a video and i feel the difference uh, I was given a different antipsychotic which had really really bad side effects and they told me to stop it immediately and I am now waiting on my old antipsychotic but instead of taking one I'll be taking two two different antipsychotic at night and antidepressant uh, in the morning and of course I have to go back on my um um, multivitamins and minerals and I have an appointment tomorrow 1st of June tomorrow I am going finally going for my B12 shot so hopefully it will all help me and I'll start making videos about it I do so now have a plan what videos I'm going to be making about for example I was I am right now really 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 dehydrated I am much better now now looking in the camera <laughs> but uh my eyes were really sunken i had dark circle i don't know if you can still see it there it's much better in light but i never really had these issues like it's coming here as well my skin suffered i think i took a quick video yesterday i'll be making videos about hydration how i'm hydrating myself and you know um I'm going to try and do better. I'm going to make my video around that as well. Hence the name, Complicated is Simple. Life is complicated and I'm trying to make it simple and I'm trying to live a better life. So anyway, so this was supposed to be a 5 minutes video and it turned out to be like over 10 minutes. I'm so sorry. If you're still here, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for listening to me. I did lose some subscribers. Please reconsider subscribing again. Um, I hope it doesn't happen again. It was painful and I did hit rock bottom. It wasn't my first time I hit rock bottom, but all you can do is keep trying. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Please comment down below and thank you. Uh, whoever contacted me and everybody tried to reach out friends and family my sister called me and she was like where you disappear blah 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 why are you not making videos my aunties my friends were like why are you not making videos this is why I wasn't making videos I got worse so yeah sorry you're probably finding out for the video so anyway thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and share I'm gonna let you go now until I see you in my next video Look after yourself, look after your mental health and physical health because both are equally important and both implement one another. They both go hand in hand. So until I see you in my next video, look after yourself. Bye-bye.